Today in the shop, we're going to be building a shot ski. So essentially what it is, is we're going to be taking a ski uh, that we actually got from, I believe, a local lodge. Um, we're going to be drilling some small indented holes in it using a Forstner bit, uh, epoxying some magnets in place and epoxying some magnets onto the shot glass. Uh, and then you have a shot ski, staples of uh, ski lodges everywhere. Got room for one more if you still want to go to Aspen. Where did you find that? So this is basically everything we're going to need uh, for this particular ski setup. Um, depending on what ski you get, you know, and you can get old skis for relatively cheap. Um, but this ski, uh, mostly all you need to take it apart is a Phillips head screwdriver. Once we take this off, we're going to move down to a Forstner bit. It allows you to drill uh, shallow holes um, without going all the way through, and it also provides a flat surface that you can epoxy to very easily. We're going to do four on this one. You can go down to three if you have a shorter ski. And then we're going to epoxy the magnets to the bottom of these shot glasses, and that will allow them to stick in place on the ski. We're planning on making a bunch of these. Uh, there was a local lodge that was having a pretty good sale on skis. So this is gonna be our prototype. We're gonna mock this up, uh, make sure that all of our ideas actually work. That is brilliant. Uh, first step is gonna be getting these big clamps off of the ski. So now we have our ski uh, separated from the toe clips and the boot clip. Um, now all we have to really do is clean it up. Uh, so some of these come with little stickers on them. Uh, so we're going to peel that sticker off and then do our layout for where we're going to be drilling our indents for our magnets, just making sure they're evenly spaced across the ski. A little goo gone. Get all that sticky stuff off there. Goo gone is sponsored by... <laughs> Can we get goo gone as a sponsor? Goo gone. <laughs> Now we have a naked ski. We got all the uh, nasty sticky stuff off of it. So now we can just go ahead and lay out uh, where we want our shot ski glasses to go. Since it's a long enough ski, we're gonna do four glasses. And the trick with skis is that they're not completely flat. They actually have varying thicknesses as you go down the ski. Um, so it's really important to make sure that A, when you're drilling your hole, you're drilling it flat, not just in relation to your ski because that can change depending on where you are but it also means that you have to drill the different thicknesses uh, down the ski so it looks like we are going to have to go three inches in from the inner curve here and about three inches in from the end and then we'll just split the difference and divide it up into four points down here we're going to end at about 59 inches that means our spacing is 56 inches between our far shot glass and the one all the way near the tip of the ski so that 59 inches um, if you want two points in there, you don't just divide that measurement by two, you have to divide it by three because you're actually having three spaces in between those two points. A lot of times people will mess that up, myself included. I have to always remind myself, three spaces, you have to divide your measurement by three, not by two. All right, we're all duly impressed. So if that's 56 inches, I am gonna cheat. Be smarter or cheat. So I'm gonna do 56 inches since that's the total difference in those parts divided by three, and that's gonna give me one foot six and 21 30 seconds, uh, which is roughly, you know, five eighths. It's about right. So we're gonna go to five eighths, one foot six and five eighths. We can go ahead and measure between those two marks. We are an eighth of an inch off. So I'm gonna scoot those guys in about a 16th of an inch. If we're gonna build drinking paraphernalia, we're gonna build it right. Yeah! Now that we have our marks, all we have to do is measure uh, and just do the center to give ourselves an X where we can start to drill our holes. So to start our Forstner bit holes, we need a little bit of a pilot hole. Um, sometimes we'll use punches to give ourselves an indent to follow with our bit. Uh, but for this one, I can just take an eighth inch drill bit, start a little bit of a hole. That way it gives the uh, tip of the Forstner bit right there a little bit of more guidance so that it can stay centered exactly on our mark. An important thing to think about if you're gonna be making this at home, keep in mind that uh, a lot of these skis are gonna be made out of fiberglass. Fiberglass is really nasty. If it gets on your skin in small particulates, it can get really itchy. Um, so I would highly recommend gloves. So these disc magnets, when you separate these, 
you don't want to try to lift them up because they're strong. They're not going to happen. You need to grab one and sort of shift it to the side because they can, uh, they can pinch you pretty bad. And I've chosen a Forstner bit that is slightly larger than the magnet, only by about a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, that way there is a little bit of space and wiggle room around it, and it'll give it a little bit more space for the epoxy that we're going to use later uh, to uh, spread out and cure. So let's just check. Yeah, there we go. That's our first one. Now we're going to do two through four, uh, and then we'll get on to the epoxy. Uh, here is the part that you need to pay extra careful attention uh, to what you're doing with the magnets. Magnets only <clears throat> magnets only really work one way. They have a north polarity and south polarity. This is the north pole. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Um, so if you have two of these showing north polarity and two of these showing south polarity, if you have your glasses all the right way, they're only going to work on half of them. Um, so you need to make sure that you are consistently getting the same side magnet up. Take a magnet. Just one of the ones that's not in there. I currently have all four magnets inside. Uh, take one that's not connected, have it snap in place. This told me that if I glue all of the magnets this way to the cups and this way to the skis, if I do this exact same way, they'll work the exact same way. That makes sense to me. If you're trying to match to another ski, you're gonna have to be more careful, but this has just provided me reference for the rest of them. And in order to get the epoxy to stick, uh, you need to provide a little roughness. This is a very smooth surface. Epoxy doesn't like to stick to that. I'm gonna rough up this side of that magnet. And since I haven't moved this magnet from the screwdriver, I know that if I rough up this side of this magnet for here, I can put it down there and it's gonna be the same polarity showing up as this magnet. Now we're just going to mix that epoxy together. Um, if you have an uh, epoxy you can buy in stores, um, that's those syringes that mix uh, as you go. That's a really good way to go for this type of project. Just make sure to get a high PSI one. So while we're waiting for these, uh, this epoxy to dry for the magnets in the ski, uh, we can start working on these shot glasses. These are just, you know, plastic 1.5 ounce shot glasses. What we're going to do uh, is take the bottom of these shot glasses and do the same technique that we did to these magnets. So we're going to rough up the bottom of these shot glasses. I'm using 120 grit sandpaper. I'm giving the epoxy plenty of room to fill in those tiny gaps and get a really good grip. A good indicator of when your epoxy and your ski is going to be dry, you can wait 10 minutes and you'll know it'll be dry, but if you're in a rush, uh, the stick that you used to mix that up is going to be dry and that'll give you a good indicator. I am going to wrap the bottoms of all these shot glasses in painter's tape. So if any epoxy leaks down the side, that way it's not going to get on the actual glasses. I can just peel it right off the tape. Easy cleanup. That was easy. We have the magnets down, uh, they're all in the same polarity, which is good, uh, and then we're going to epoxy and attach them to the bottoms of the shot glasses. So now all we just do is slide the magnets off, and place them carefully. Try to get it as centered as possible on the bottom of those glasses. So uh, let the epoxy cure for two to three minutes until it is still malleable, uh, but not completely cured. Once it reaches that stage, you're going to want to take off this tape as the epoxy is still roughly wet. Um, if you let it dry too much, all you're going to do is trap that tape under epoxy. 
So the epoxy on these shot glasses is dry. Um, so what we can do now is we can test to make sure that we did everything right. This is almost good to go. All we need to do is uh, clean up the top, just give it a wax uh, like you would a normal ski, though I guess that would be the bottom. Um, but make it look clean um, and we're good. There you have it, a completed shot ski. Pretty easy project for you to do at home or uh, come in and see our selection. Yes, you guys were great. Shot